Have you ever been working in a Jira service management project and realized you don't quite know what tickets you should be working on? Or maybe you manage a Jira service management project and you're wondering how to make sure your agents work on the right tickets at the right time. Well, queues are the things that you need to look for. These are features within Jira service management that help agents figure out what they should be working on. Essentially, they're like a save search that gives them a list of tickets that helps them focus their work. So here, we're going to dig in and learn what queues are all about in Jira service management. Here I am in a Jira service management project, and up in the top left, I have a queues menu. And after I click on queues, I'll see a list of my queues. It comes with a few out of the box, all open, unassigned, resolved, etc. But as a project admin, I have the option to change them. Taking a quick look at a queue though, I can see it looks just like a search of Jira tickets. It's got columns that show me the request type and the summary, as well as the assignee and reporter. And critically, any SLAs like time to resolution are easily displayed. Now, as an agent, I can't change these columns. I'm stuck with whatever my project admin gave me. So when I set them up, I do want to consider what columns are needed to give my team information to be successful. As an agent, however, I can star queues. If you notice on the left here, I have some in a starred section. I always encourage my agents to go through and pick the queues that they use most frequently. However, as a project admin, I can also set the order in which they're shown and also group them. For example, having a team priority group of queues that make it easy for my agents to go in and see what queues there are and when they should be working. So now that we know what queues are, let's jump into their settings. There's a queues settings button, and this shows me all of the queues. Now I see this because I'm a project admin, so normal agents won't be able to access this, but it does give me a list of the queues that I have, as well as any priority group they might be in. I can also take a look at just certain priority groups and filter my view to manage these more effectively. And up here in the top, I can create new queues and I can reorder them. Again, the order in which they're displayed is controlled by the admin. So I can focus them maybe on unassigned first. I think this is the most important group that I need them to work on. And then they can go down the list to find other things. And maybe I want high priority up there as well. Now this doesn't stop agents from switching between queues, but it does show them visually where I think they should start at the top and then work their way down. From here, I can go in and edit a queue just by clicking edit. And this will look very familiar. It almost looks exactly like our search feature. And this is where we define the tickets that go into the queue. What do I want to be an unassigned? Well, any unresolved resolution and any missing assignee. I can, however, switch this over to JQL by clicking on the JQL button. So if I'm more comfortable with that, I can type it in here. And then on the bottom, I can control which columns appear. For example, if I would like to remove the created date, I can just click the X and it will disappear from the queue. And again, agents can't add or remove or change columns. So I might want to come in here and add that back if they tell me they really need it. And this is where it's important for me as the admin to think through what does my team need to be successful? What information will they need in their queue to make the best decision on what to answer next? So very frequently, I'll come in here and I'll make changes. I'll change the column order if my agents tell me it's more useful in a different order. Now, once I'm done, I can just click Save, and that will save this queue. And these changes are now live for my agents. They can come into the unassigned queue and see the list of tickets that they need to be working on. They can do some things like sort, so they can come into the queue and change the order they're displayed based on the summary or created date, but again, they can't change the columns. Going back into queue settings as the project admin, I can also change the priority groups. So if I would like to add a new group, maybe for executive support, I can then click on manage queues to include specific queues within that grouping. And again, this doesn't stop agents from using a different group or looking around, but it does help focus them on where they should be. They can now click the drop down and see the executive support queues to quickly switch between work. So that is a queue. It is a saved search, essentially, that allows agents to focus on their work. The biggest thing to remember is they're mainly controlled by project admins who have all the settings and can control what columns and tickets show up in the queues. Please take time when you set these up to speak to your team, make sure they understand which queues are expected to use and that they understand which tickets show up in them. 
So document out and share what would show up in the unassigned queue or high priority. I am curious how you and your team use queues though. Please drop a comment down below. It's always great to see how other groups use this, and I learn a lot from when folks like you share what you know. So if you like this, please like and subscribe. That helps me understand what content you're interested in. And I really look forward to seeing you in one of these again soon. Me again, thank you so much for watching that video. Check out more here and pop down into the description. I've got a blog with weekly content. I also have a lot of online learning on Atlassian stuff and project management. And if you need personalized training for you and your team, reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to get something set up for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon.